the um, bring uh, emergency step and um, while I was coming out my wife was on the phone so the pilot said take none of your personal belongings except your medication so my wife heard that and said to me guard remember all your money is in that bag don't leave it. <laughs> so I grabbed my bag because it, it's contained my medication my finance and I said I was going with it so as I come to the step a paramedic uh, asked me if I was okay. I said, no, i having a little chest pain. So he took the bag and he assisted me down the stairs into the bus. You know, God um, did not want this flight to venture up. He was there with me because my pastor, he sent me off in prayer. My wife, my in-laws, my kids, they sent me off in prayer. And I myself cover myself in prayer so I know I was well protected you know so I just want to give thanks when I give you all the notice and guy and appear your response in prayer and encouragement I just want to thank you all and I love you all and when I said it it's from my heart it's not because I have this can say it. I love you all at Lighthouse I don't know how much you love me but I love you all who want to this me sometime when I reach out to them to say hi or give them a little handshake, it's their problem. I still love you all. And I love you now and I love you forever. Thank you. God bless you all. Mr. Brown, what you want to say? Mr. Brown, tell us tell us how you how you We gotta have this celebrant say something today. Um, the day when this happened, I, I said to him, maybe you don't need to go again, just stay, just come home. <laughs> and he said to me, God is with me and I'm going to go. But thank God he went and he came back safe. Amen. Thank you, brother and sister Brown. Greet them, make, make them comfortable today in church. Make them know you welcome him back and we love the family. We're going to do this as often as we can with our silver celebrants. We call you one, up, one time up here to, to just give a testimony. Right, Brother Bunny? Just to give a testimony. Good. So, um, you know, the, the importance of making sure that at least you touch base with us so we could pray that prayer when you're leaving to go anywhere. Sometimes we're not telling us anything and then we meet with all kinds of calamity. At least, if you're so dear to us, at least send us a little note. You have our cell numbers and let us know you're leaving and so we can pray, call you quickly and pray that prayer. Huh? Y'all believe that is true? When Uncle Barry and Aunt Zuri were going, they, we prayed with them. They were going to England. You don't know what is going to happen when you leave these shores. And then I'm going to thank Brian and Sister Brown in advance and all the folks who will be helping to take care of the people coming here from overseas. Sister Brown already making preparation for all the um, overseas folks coming in for the um, 10th anniversary. We have a, a good team coming this, this time, and we want to celebrate them and thank God for them. So I just want to tell you that God is a good God. We keep serving him. We had a good time yesterday with those who will be promoted to, in the ministerial ranks here at Lighthouse. And we, we came in about 9.30 in the morning, and we left here after 7.00. But we want to thank God. One of the things um, I heard but the Bill said to us is that I'd we asked him what was his fear and what, you know, why he feel the way he's feeling and, and with the promotion he's going to get. And this is what he said to us in the meeting there with a couple of us. He said he, he, he wonders if people will, you know, look at him strange because of his impairment. You know, he has the eyes impairment. I said, but the Bill, let me tell you this. This country is big on taking care of those kind of a people here in this country. This United States of America don't make joke with those people. And you go to jail if possible for making, you know, small of these folks. And Lighthouse is not the worldly organization. It's a Christian, solid-based organization. And we will never do that to anybody who has an impairment here at Lighthouse. So, but the building need to be comfortable with us. Your pastor and his wife will make sure that you're comfortable. 
no matter who you are, if you come in here and you ha you're, you're, you know, as they say, the funny person, even them, we're going to make sure that Lighthouse don't treat them funny. Whoever you are, because God loves everybody. We are all special to him. Okay, church? So make sure if you see Brother Bill any time and you see him in a little funny area, take care of him. That is what we do here at Lighthouse. At this time, we'll call on Juanita to do the rest of the announcement. But I don't know about you, but now I'm all excited about the 10th year, the first decade, the first decade. Folks were texting me from all across the world and saying, Sister Cameron, it's 10 years already. I said, yes, I myself am surprised it's 10 years already. And we want to bless God. Want will tell you a little bit more of what's coming up. We celebrate you, First Lady. Thank you so much. Our beloved associate pastor who gives excellent support to our overseer. I know they don't like me calling them that, but <laughs> that's what you are. This is Lighthouse. Praise the name of Jesus. It's giving time at Lighthouse. And we are, whoa, yes. One more time. It's giving time at Lighthouse. Woo, yeah, much better. Praise the Lord. The Lord said he loves, he loves, God loves. A cheer, fearful, cheerful sister person. A cheerful giver, a cheerful giver. So if you have your giving utensils, I want to ask you to lift them up and we're going to make some declarations. If you already prepared your offering and you have your envelope or however you're giving online, cash or check, we're going to lift them to the Lord. All right, on a count of three, we'll do it together. One, two, three. My sowing and giving are producing my financial future. I expect abundance because I sow bountifully. The truth concerning giving has caused me to be a cheerful giver. My trust in God, not my circumstances, motivates me to give. God loves the way I give. Because I bring my whole tithe, my finances will be abundant, for God will guard them from the devourer. God gives me his ability for financial success. I have abundance for every good work. I am a blessed giver. Praise the Lord. Go ahead, uh, ushers, you can pick up the offering. While the offering is being picked up, um, I just want to make one announcement and then the uh, worshipers are going to sing for us. The Beltsville uh, newspaper, if you live in Beltsville or you're in the zip code area surrounding 20705, we are featured in the papers for this month for our 10th anniversary. We're on page number 12. And so if you have um, if you're in this area, you'll get one, I think, even as far as Green Belt and Laurel. But if you'd like to have one to keep for, you know, your own posterity, let me know and I'll see if I can get some extra copies from the publishers so that we can keep it. Another 10 years from now, you can show your children, grandchildren, or great-grandchildren, or churches in the papers in the community. So I want to celebrate. It says, congratulations. Celebrating Please. one decade, looking on to the next ten. Reverend Dr. F. and Reverend Cora Diane Cameron, founding overseer and associate pastor of Lighthouse Ministries International, March 2008 to 2018. And then there's a little piece at the bottom to join us for the Holy Convocation and celebrate with us our anniversary on the 25th. The doors open at 2 p.m. While the ushers are taking your regular offering, our worshipers are going to lead us in a time of worship. It is time to give at Lighthouse To worship God with our gifts Our tithes and offerings A sacrifice of praise unto our King It is time to give at Lighthouse to worship God with our gifts, our tithes and offerings, a 
sacrifice of praise unto our King. Jehovah Jireh bless us. Jehovah Jireh provide it. Jehovah Jireh takes care of all of our needs. Jehovah Jireh bless me. Jehovah Jireh provide it. Jehovah Jireh takes care of all of our needs. But for this new year, as we're entering into our 10th year, I was speaking with our overseer and I was, I promised to come back to you with better information and more information about our faith seed offerings. Hold it, hold it, ushers, hold on, please. So for as of today, moving forward, we will no longer be collecting a benevolent or care offering. What we would like you to do is to give you the opportunity to sow a seed. From your seed, we will give to those who are in need. The reason why, when we collect the care offering, sometimes we get a $50, we get a $100. And if someone has a need, most times a need is greater than 50, greater than $100. And so the church goes into its coffers and help because we are a helping and a giving church. But in our 10th year, we want to give you an opportunity on the first Sunday to sow a seed. When Isaac sowed a seed, the Lord caused him to prosper, even in a drought, even in a famine land. And we have seen throughout the year countless testimonies of those who have sown seeds. And on today, I'd like to share one with you. Last week, a sower came and they had sown a thousand dollars. We don't tell you what amount to sow. The Lord leads you to follow them, that's up to you. But ask God as I'm talking and as the worshipers are singing, what seed you want to sow. The sowers, this is a, a couple sowing, sowed and before they could even finish sowing the seed, the Lord provided for them answers and harvest. The fridge broke down and the Lord provided a brand new fridge worth $3,000 free of cost to this couple. I don't think you hear this testimony yet. Only a few people get it. Part of their sowing was that God would bless them. And when they sowed, the fridge broke down and the Lord provided for them a brand new Samsung smart fridge free of cost. Then if, as if the enemy was thinking, oh, y'all ain't really trusting God. Then the stove broke down. And when the stove broke down, they had to get a new stove because it couldn't be repaired. And the Lord provided them a Samsung smart stove as well. And instead of them paying full price, I think it was three, five, or four thousand, they only paid one thousand. So I'm I'm here to encourage you that it's a good thing to give. When we have a God first mentality in our giving, when we give to God first, He makes sure that He gives back to us good measure he press it down if you ever see a flower jar and you press it down and you ram it together and then it runs over that is how god wants to pour into your bosom and cause men to pour into your bosom so on this first sunday i want to encourage you as the worshipers sing again if you would like to sow a seed there are instructions things of the holy ghost are very slippery and they have instructions when we miss the instructions we can miss what the blessing is in store for us. If you are sowing a seed today, I'm asking you, you take a green sheet. Why do we do this? We're not trying to mind your business, but you don't expect apples and sow oranges, right? So attach an expectation to your seed and trust the Lord. Watch him work on your behalf. I'm not saying this just for here, Sarah, somebody said, I myself am reaping harvest. And my expectations are being checked off one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. So I'm encouraging you. This is not an ordinary offering that you just drop in the bucket. Attach an expectation. God said that he will make those things that are not as though they are. 
I remember mother sowing on behalf of the son that his business would come into fruition and the Lord did it unknown to the son and he calls back to tell the mother and the mother is laughing with joy. He's telling her have faith and she's telling him I had faith I sowed on your behalf. Why am I saying that? If you also want to sow on somebody's behalf, you go ahead and do it. Like I said, the church is always accountable. From your sowing, those who are in need among us or those who call upon the church for assistance, we will give to them and help them. So if you're coming to sow, please take a green sheet. Now, for the uh, logistics, I'm going to ask only two ushers, Sister Verona and Sister Geneva, if you can come forward and you can split the green sheet, Sister Geneva and Sister Verona. If you'd like to have a sheet, just lift your hand and they'll give it to you. But I'm asking you to sow and plant your own seed. I don't know which farmer asked somebody else to plant his seeds and plant his crop. He plants it, he or she plants it, him or herself. Can you take some of the green one, one of this side, and one of that side? Can you give her some too? So if you would like to sow your seed, collect your expectation form. If you have a pen, if you don't have pens, there are pens here. And you're going to write your expectation, attach it to your seed. But you, by faith, by faith you are stepping out. By faith and by courage you're stepping out. And you're planting your seed into this bucket. And then the overseer is going to pray a shepherd's prayer over all of the seeds planted. And we are trusting God that before this month, as a matter of fact, I am standing here and declaring by faith before this month is over, we're going to have harvest. Amen? Amen. I know how many of you agree with me, but where two or three agree, I'm all right. I am declaring that before the end of this month, we are going to hear testimonies of harvest. Amen? So worshipers, whatever song you have on your heart, you can... If you'd like to swipe, thank you, Sister Adele. If you'd like to swipe, the ladies in the Welcome Center can assist you in swiping. But you still need to fill an expectation. You take an envelope and you put your expectation in an envelope. The only reason is we don't want your, anybody else to read your expectation. It's between you and Ghana when Pastor prays. And the truth is, many times we don't read it back. We just pray over the expectations. So I'll walk around and give you envelopes and you just put your expectation in there along with your seed if you have it. And if you're not fulfilling your seed today and you want to fulfill it next week, please, I'm asking you, we're in the house of the Lord. Fulfilled, it's better to not vow than to vow and break it. So if you're going to fulfill a seed, fulfill it and ask the Lord to bring seed into your hand and you can sow. It is more blessed when you give. The Lord says it's more blessed to give than receive. When you open your hand and you release what God has put in your hand to bless others, you're making room for him to put more into your hand. So I'm challenging you today to give a seed and attach an expectation. Watch the Lord do something amazing for you. And those of us who are still waiting for all of our harvest, continue to wait in. For they that wait upon the Lord, he will renew your strength. So where you're feeling weak and your faith feeling like it's faint, wait on the Lord. I say, wait on the Lord. This is what the psalmist David said. Go ahead, rush first. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. All the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. All the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. I'm counting, I'm counting my blessings. I just can't keep it to myself. When I thought that he had done too much, oh. Jesus did it again, I'm counting, I'm counting my blessings, I just can't keep it to myself, when I thought that he has done too much, oh, Jesus did it again, I can't tell it enough, oh, I shouted loud, 
from the mountain top. I can't tell it enough. Oh, 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 oh. I shouted loud from the mountain top. It is coming. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. All the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. It is coming. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. All the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. I'm counting my blessings. I just can't keep it to myself. All the thought that he had done too much. Whoa, Jesus did it again. I'm counting. I'm counting my blessings. I just can't keep it to myself. When I thought that he had done too much. Whoa, Jesus did it again. I can't tell it enough. Oh, I shouted loud from the mountain top. I can tell it enough. Oh, I shouted loud from the mountain top. If you have your seed, please go ahead and plant it in the meanwhile. And while you come in and plant your seed, just four, three quick announcements. On the 10th of March, which is Saturday coming, we have a cleanup day. We're encouraging all all members, congregants, supporters of Lighthouse, please come on out. We want to vacuum this entire sanctuary, clean up around the church, and prepare for our anniversary celebrations. On the 14th of March, please remember this, especially members of Lighthouse. On the 14th of March, that's a Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., it's going to be our annual members meeting. You would, would really need to be at this one for this year. Um, Sister Brittany is on PowerPoint. Take off easy worship. The 14th of March, 7.30 p.m. right here. Annual members meeting. I'm gonna say it one more time for those who may have been distracted. On the 14th of March, right here at 7.30 p.m. is our annual members business meeting please do not miss this one so that you will have the information for yourself and you will hear of the things that are to come for our next 10 years okay the other one i want to encourage those persons who have been identified for the flag parade if you have been asked to carry a flag you know yourself the 16th of march is your day to be here Please make sure that you are present. If there is a challenge, please speak with Sister Marlene Paris. She's in church today. But I'm reminding you, the 16th of March is the flag parade rehearsal day. Okay? And the other uh, highlight, I want to say that the bus trip is completely sold out. And that's slide number 109. Perfect. It's completely sold out. However, a couple of persons have had to drop out because of situations beyond their control if you would like to go please visit the welcome and reception center today and you must be prepared to pay in full for your ticket to get on the bus because these are paid seats so if you want to go three seats have become available please visit the welcome and reception center it's a first come first serve basis okay and my final one is on the 17th of March, we will be departing from here at 1 p.m. Please, I am imploring you to be on time so that those who are here early and would like to have the time in Pennsylvania will have their full time. We're leaving the parking lot at 1 p.m. The bus is already booked. Everything is already set. You will receive your tickets on the day of for the Sight and Song show. And then everything else is happening as per norm. Our holy convocation is the 20th to the 23rd. 
And on the 18th Sunday, Reverend Alex Graham is going to be our guest speaker. So all of our anniversary celebrations kick off from today and they take momentum even more on the 18th. So all of these announcements are going to be on our, on our website. If you missed any of them, please be free to visit our website, lhmiinc.org. And my final one is just a reminder that this is Lighthouse and God is here. God is doing great things. He's doing marvelous things. And we celebrate this 10th year. If you have sown your seeds, I will invite our overseer to pray for all of the offering and to pray. Sister, um, what, sis, please ask them to sow the seed themselves. Please, I'm asking you, let us follow the guidance. Sow your own seed, trust me. You sow your own seed. Step out by faith, sow your own seed. Trust me. Watch the Lord work on your behalf, okay? The ashes are just assisting you, but it is your own. So come and plant your own seed. If there is no one else, I'm asking over here to pray for the offerings, pray for our seeds, and he will do the benediction. Is there lunch today, Sister Cameron? We have light snacks provided in the fellowship hall. You're welcome to join us after the service. Let's pray. Father, we ask your blessings upon these seeds that your people have sown. We pray, Father, that the expectations that they've written, that it would manifest itself in their lives shortly. And so, God, we give you praise and thanks for blessing that which they have placed in this basket. And to you we give the glory. Bless the offerings your people have given, Father, their tithes and their offerings. We honor you and we bless you today. And as we leave this place, go with us to our homes in safety. In Jesus' name, amen and praise God.